What's going on guys? My name is Patrick Bacon and you're watching the one and only Bacon's Drinks channel here on YouTube. And I'll tell you what guys, it's getting unbelievably hot down here in the south. It's already in the 90s and we're only in the first two weeks of May. So that means it's going to be a real scorcher for the summer, unfortunately. And on top of that, my truck's AC took out. Also, I'm carrying some extra pounds from bulking up during the winter. We've been through this, okay? I'm cultivating mass. So needless to say, your boy's running pretty hot over here. So if you want to help me out, be sure to like the video. So I figured what better way to ward off the heat than to imbibe one of my favorite summer libations, Jason Alexander's Rum Barrel. And no, it's probably not the Jason Alexander you guys are thinking of. The Jason Alexander I'm talking about is the Tiki Commando himself, and he is a bartender at the Devil's Reef Tiki Bar in Tacoma, Washington. So Jason is beloved by the Tiki community because not only are his drink recipes super delicious, but his recipes usually incorporate ingredients that are easy for the home bartender to acquire. That is because he often uses the classic tiki palettes of Don the Beachcomber and Trader Vic and breathes new life into them by bringing us new ratios, new combinations of the ingredients that we've never seen before and they make for absolutely amazing drinks. Now as far as the rum barrel is concerned, it was actually invented by the grandfather of tiki himself, Don the Beachcomber in the 1940s and it's a pretty common drink across um, the tiki culture. And just about any tiki bar you go into, they'll probably have their own rum barrel or a variation of a rum barrel. You can find various recipes across the internet and certain books. There's also one thing that a lot of rum barrels have in common and it's the fact that they have tons of ingredients. Most rum barrels probably have anywhere from 9 to 13 or more ingredients per barrel. So the variation I'm bringing you guys today is one of my favorite, if not my favorite, and I hope you guys really enjoy. We got a ton of ingredients we have to do today, so let's go ahead and get to making the cocktail. All right guys, so we're gonna build this in the shaker tin like we do most of our tiki cocktails, and we're gonna go ahead and start with our bitters. So the recipe calls for two dashes of Angostura bitters and one dash of absinthe. Now I don't have an absinthe dasher, so I'm just gonna do one dash of Angostura bitters, and then I also have a Japanese bitter dashers and this is half Angostura bitters and half absinthe, and the absinthe I'm using is Perno Absinthe Superior. And since this is a Japanese bitter dasher, um, two dashes equals one regular dash. I'm gonna do two dashes of my Angostura and absinthe mixture. And now I'm gonna do one ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice. And if you guys aren't using fresh squeezed juices, I highly recommend you start. It's a complete game changer and you won't go back once you do. Next, we're gonna do one ounce of fresh squeezed pineapple juice. And as I've said before, I understand if you guys don't wanna use fresh squeezed pineapple juice, if you don't um, use canned juice, because it is tough to juice a pineapple. All right, next we're gonna do one ounce of Don's Mix. For you guys that don't know what that is, that's two parts grapefruit juice, one part cinnamon syrup. It used to be one of Don the Beachcomber's secret ingredients. Since I don't have it pre-mixed, I'm just gonna build it you know, in the tin. So I'm gonna do three quarters of an ounce of fresh squeezed grapefruit juice. All right. And then I'm gonna do a quarter of an ounce of cinnamon syrup. All right. And if you guys don't know how to make cinnamon syrup, I'll put it in the recipe in the description, no words. All right guys, next we're gonna do a half ounce of falernum. I'm using BG Reynolds, which is one of my favorite for Lernums um, to date. I used to always use John D. Taylor, but this for Lernum is absolutely spicy and delicious. All right guys, so next we're going to do a half ounce of Don Spices number two. I'll put the recipe in the description for this. This was also one of Don the Beachcomber's uh, secret ingredients. I'll put the original recipe, then I'll put my recipe. I actually used two different types of allspice dram in my Don Spices. So now we finally get to our rum base. It is a powerful blend of four delicious rums. And the recipe calls for one ounce of column still aged rum. I'm using Bacardi Ocho today. I'll just be kind of honest, just about every time a recipe calls for a column still aged rum, I always reach for the Bacardi Ocho. And next it calls for one ounce of blended aged Demerara rum. I'm gonna be using El Dorado 5 today. Sometimes I use El Dorado 12 but I just happen to have this five on hand and five will do just fine. All right. And then next it calls for one ounce of an aged Barbados rum or Barbadian rum. I'm using Plantation 5 today. I know Jason likes to use Plantation uh, rums in his concoction, so 
Figure I'd do it in honor of him today. I know a lot of people, or at least rum purists anyway, not a lot of people, but rum purists, don't like Plantation 5, but I absolutely love it. I think it's delicious. I think it's super versatile. All right, finally we get to one ounce of Jamaican rum. I'm using Karuba today. You can use some a little funkier if you want, if you like that kind of Jamaican funk. I like the level of funk in Karuba just fine. Karuba also has some kind of like molasses type notes to me that I really enjoy. All right guys, that's it for the body of the cocktail. Now let's add our ice. All right guys, so now we're gonna add one full rounded scoop of pebble ice to the tin. All right, now we're gonna seal our tin and give it a nice whip shake. Now we're gonna shake a little longer than normal today. I also put a little more ice than normal in the tin. That is because we have a lot of alcohol and a lot of ingredients in the cocktail. The more alcohol and more ingredients your cocktail has, the more dilution that is required to make the cocktail more balanced. All right, I think the ice is already melted in there. And now we're going to roll it into our incredible tiki mug vessel today. This is a rum barrel or just a barrel by Tiki Diablo. And we're gonna go ahead and roll our ingredients straight into this incredible mug. Check out Tiki Diablo's website, guys. Uh, they might still have some in stock. I absolutely love these rum barrels. And now we're gonna fill it up the rest of the way with ice. Right. And if you have to, press the ice down as you put it into the mug. That way you can pack as much ice in there and really bring down that temperature. All right, we're gonna give it just a little cap. All right, it's pretty full there. All right, now it's time to garnish. So I actually have some incredible mint sprigs here from my backyard. They are unbelievably fragrant and amazing. The mint is coming in full force down here in Louisiana. And that sun is making the leaves real rigid and super fragrant and it's absolutely awesome. As you can see, I have them in my other rum barrel that I got. They're actually two different glazes. It's kind of hard to tell, but one is um, darker and one's a little bit lighter in color. And we're actually gonna do a so we're actually going to do, this one still has the leaves on, we're actually going to do a massive mint ploosh on this one. And let's go ahead and get those mint leaves nice and fragrant. Go ahead and express the oils from the peel. And we're going to put it right in our rum barrel, just like that. And there it is, guys, Jason Alexander's rum barrel. All right, guys, let's go ahead and give it a taste. I'm gonna activate that mint again. I'm gonna sip it straight off the ice. Definitely getting those mint aromatics. Oh yeah, that is absolutely delicious in every way. There's obviously a lot going on there. So let me attempt to describe what's happening here. So what I'm getting first and foremost is just all the tropical spice that's in the drink. I'm definitely getting that Falerno. I'm getting the Don Spices number two. And of course, the spice from the cinnamon syrup and the bitters. There's a lot of spice in this drink and a lot of syrup that gives it just so much richness and so much body. And I'm definitely getting the hit of the spices up front. So next, I'm getting the richness of the pineapple juice. Uh, pineapple juice is still a strong flavor, even if it's fresh. And then, of course, I'm getting that amazing blend of rums. Now, I'll be honest, at least on my palate, I can't taste the individual notes of each of these rums. But what I will tell you is that their synergy uh, provides for a very balanced experience. And let me get a one more taste real quick. And yeah, so next I'm getting the tartness of the fresh lime and grapefruit juice. They add a much needed acidity to an otherwise very rich cocktail. But overall, it is still a very rich cocktail. There's a lot of body to it, uh, but it's just so good. So if I had to describe this cocktail in summation is that it's the tiki experience in a glass or in a mug in this case. Uh, because it basically uses almost all the flavors in Don's palate in one single concoction. But it does taste absolutely incredible. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I hope one day you're able to get all the ingredients to make it. But if you already have them, definitely make this cocktail. It is refreshing, it is cold, and it is so good. So that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, please hit the like button if you like the video. If you want to see more of my videos in the future, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And as always, please try to leave a comment. The comments really help my videos gain traction, really helps the algorithm. 
Plus, if you have any feedback or any questions about the ingredients or the recipes, I'm very active. I can answer. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a really safe weekend. And as always, I will see you guys next time.